वेलकम बैक टू बाजार मॉर्निंग कॉल वेल एन एल सी इंडिया इज एक्स मैनेजमेंट ऑन द शो द गवर्नमेंट रिसेंटली सोल्ड सेवन परसेंट स्टेक प्रसन्न कुमार मोटूपली हु इज द चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर एन एल सी इंडिया जॉइन इज नाउ टू टॉक मोर अबाउट दैट मिस्टर मोटूपली थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग एज अ टेकिंग द टाइम आउट टू स्पीक टू सी एन बी सी टी वी एटीन इफ यू कैन जस्ट यू नो स्टार्ट बाई टेलिंग अज अबाउट अ कपल ऑफ थिंग्स दैट रिसेंटली वेंट थ्रू विद द कंपनी Uh, you've received this uh, particular order for uh, from iFox Wind Technique. Um, you all received an LOA from uh, they received an LOA from NLC India for the restoration of 33 WTGs. Can you tell us a li little bit about what was the earlier status of the power plant and what does this particular order pertain to? Uh, good morning, madam. Uh, actually, we in NLC was having uh, uh, 51 megawatt wind uh, power stations in the state of Tamil Nadu. and uh, they are old uh, wind machines and there are some issues with the availability of these machines so complete uh, revamping and upgradation of uh, these uh, wind turbines is awarded and uh, with this uh, the um, capacity utilization factor of these uh, wind turbines will improve after implementation of this revamping plan mm. okay so can you tell us what does this mean i mean what was the earlier status of the power plant and uh, what what would this mean for you for in terms of the way forward uh, because of uh, this uh, revamping and uh, upgradation mm. the capacity utilization factor of uh, uh, windmill will improve and uh, the generation from the uh, windmill will also improve okay mm. <coughs> mr modupalli hi good morning uh, prashant here you know the, uh, another bit of news flash like, there's been a lot happening right uh, so you signed a mou with rajasthan for the formation of a joint venture for thermal and renewable capacity uh, could you provide us with some details i mean what exactly uh, is this joint venture going to do what are you going to do in this joint venture uh, you know there's uh, some total uh, cap uh, capex of 7000 crores which has been uh, sort of assigned uh, where where will this be used how will this be funded what are the timelines for pro any projects that you will build under this jv actually as you know already nlc india limited is having one uh, mine lignite mine and uh, uh, power station in the state of rajasthan and that is barsing sir thermal power station and it is supplying the cheapest power to the state of rajasthan already and is powering the growth story of rajasthan Uh, as you know nl uh, rajasthan is having a uh, uh, huge reserves of lignite and nlc is having uh, uh, experience of uh, installation of lignite plant to uh, take advantage of this uh, jv is being formed for setting up of 125 megawatt lignite based power plant uh, uh, in the state of rajasthan and uh, 1000 megawatt uh, solar power plant uh, also is being planned to take the advantage of the high solar uh, radiation that is available in uh, the state of rajasthan uh, this 7500 crores we have, uh, will be spending on this uh, this 120 for 125 megawatt lignite based power station will will be spending around 1500 crores and for this 1000 megawatt uh, solar power plant we will be spending 6000 uh, crores so we uh, we are taking up all the actions uh, to start the activities at the earliest and uh, i think uh, the lignite based power station is next 4 5 years that will be completed and this 1000 megawatt solar power plant in next 2 uh, years period that will be completed and the, the entire 7500 megawatt will be spent in next 4 uh, 5 years hmm 7000 pound crores okay and, and now this is uh, <clears throat> will there be investment from the government of rajasthan as well or this is just i mean an agreement for them to buy power this be, this will be long term uh -huh. agreements <laughs> it is a jv jvb that will be operated by nlc it will be uh, the majority stake will be of nlc and there will be some minority stake from uh, uh, rajasthan uh, government no this, uh, this 7500 7000 odd crores this is an in investment by nlc and there will be something which will be put in by the government as well no this actually 7500 crores is the total investment total. that is okay. being okay. uh, total for the okay. uh, projects and out of that the majority stake will be nlc and uh, uh, the other stake will be rajasthan okay uh, i'll come back to the business in a bit the other thing we wanted to talk about was the government selling 7% stake in nnc via the ofs route just wanted to understand any more divestment from the government planned in this calendar year itself uh, and have there been any discussions on that front 
no, madam. Actually, uh, this uh, disinvestment was mainly to meet uh, meet the 19A regulation of LADR uh, of uh, public holding of uh, more than 25 uh, um, uh, percent. Uh, I don't foresee any further disinvestment uh, immediately. Okay, no further disinvestment. Got it. Uh, with onboarding of new capacities, what is the proportion of merchant sales volumes as a part of the overall mix? If you can tell us, and how are merchant rates trending currently? Uh, Madam, as on date, our uh, entire power is uh, tied up. We don't have any other any uh, merchant power uh, based power plant. Uh, but uh, whenever there is uh, um, no schedule from the uh, respect to beneficiaries, we are uh, uh, taking this to the market and uh, able to sell that with reasonable prices. But uh, for merchant uh, uh, power selling, we don't have any specific power plants. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Uh Got that. Now, uh, just one uh, thing. You, you know, you're expected to commission two gigawatts of thermal capacity at Ghatampur and new mining capacity up to F525. Uh, could you uh, could, could you tell uh, tell us by the end of F525, that is the next financial year, the end of the next financial year, what should be the total capacity uh, for NLC India? See, as on date, we are a six gigawatt company. Uh, one point four out of that one point four gigawatt is renewable capacity. So in the financial year uh, 24 25 uh, we will be commissioning the entire uh, two gigawatt capacity at the Gatampur and uh, uh, 300 uh, megawatt uh, of uh, solar at uh, Rajasthan and 150 megawatt hybrid power project at uh, Rajasthan and Gujarat. So in the uh, financial year 24 25 we will be adding uh, uh, approximately 2450 megawatt out of that 2000 megawatt will be at Dharam, Dharam, Gatampur and uh, um, uh, around 450 megawatt renewables in the state of Gujarat and Rajasthan. Okay, okay. Uh, gives us a good sense. Uh, so you'd, you'd basically be about at, at about eight and a half gigawatts by the end of F525, right? In terms of operational capacity. Uh, exactly. Got it, sir. Thank you very much for joining us. Good speaking with you and good luck. Uh, always great to speak with you here on CNBC TV 18.